we're going to do a little demonstration on how effective the PCCS unit is. First we're going to compare it to traditional tap water, then we're going to compare it to reverse osmosis water, and then of course the PCCS unit. Now I do want to point out I have a well, that's why I have a reverse osmosis system in my home. Take a look at this. We're going to put a little bit of my tap water in my cup, then I'm going to take and I'm going to fill up this little cup with reverse osmosis water. Then we're going to take that same water and we're going to run it through the PCCS unit and put that water into this little cup. Now what I've done is I've put a pH chart on the back of my PCCS unit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tap water and put it over on this side. Then I'm going to take my reverse osmosis water and I'm going to put that right there. Then I'm going to take the water treated with the PCCS unit and put it right up there. Okay, now I'm going to use pH drops. You could use pH strips if you prefer, but I'm going to use drops. First thing I'm going to do is put them in the water that's my regular old tap water. And you'll notice it kind of turns green. Balanced pH about 7.5. Let's put it in my reverse osmosis water. What happens? Take a look at that. Nice and yellow. Nice acidic water. My wonderful reverse osmosis system just took my halfway decent water and pretty much killed it. Created dead acidic water for my family to drink for about 15 years. Isn't that great? Now, let's take a look and see what happens when you put that same water through the PCCS unit. Look at that nice blue color. I'm telling you, balanced pH is what comes out of your faucet. If you have municipal water, that's probably the, the pH that you're getting out of your, that. If you drink bottled water or reverse osmosis, this is what you're getting, acidic water. And if you run that same water through the PCCS unit, instantly changes it to the kind of pH water that you need. Now, I'm going to do one more test, and I'm going to check the ORP. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to just slide the PCCS unit right over here, get it out of the way. And we're going to take three more cups. First, we're going to fill up my tap water in one of them, a little bit of tap water. Then I'm going to take the reverse osmosis water, put that in there. Then we're going to take my PCCS water and once again put a little PCS, PCCS water into my little cup and we're going to test the ORP. Now this time what I'm going to do is simply put the ORP drops in and if it turns pink it has antioxidant properties. Here's my tap water. See if there's any antioxidant properties in the tap water. Nothing. Pretty much stays the same. Here's my reverse osmosis water. Put a whole bunch of drops in there. Nothing. Doesn't change a bit. Here's the Dream Tree PCCS water. See how pink that turned right away? Take a look at the difference of these three. Now, what is the difference with antioxidants as to non-antioxidants? Basically, folks, if it's something that's oxidizing, it makes you get old. If it's something that has antioxidant properties, it can help you reverse the aging process or stay a little bit younger. What kind of water do you think you'd like to put in your body? Would you like to have high pH, high antioxidant water to drink every day? I've got to ask you a question. Have you ever heard a doctor suggest to someone that they change their diet? Of course you have. But wouldn't it make sense if your body is 70% water? to put the right kind of water in your body and help yourself that way. You see, we believe here at Dream Tree that everyone needs to know about our PCCS unit. Everybody needs to know about drinking alkaline antioxidant water. You need to get one of these PCCS units today. I do want to add one more thing. If you're like me and you have a reverse osmosis system, the PCCS unit doesn't do what reverse osmosis does. Reverse osmosis takes out heavy metals and that kind of thing. What you would want to do is put your PCCS unit after your reverse osmosis. Last thing I want to leave you is this system is the best way to naturally filter your water. It's the best way to naturally create alkaline antioxidant water. We don't use any chemicals. There's no electrical separation. There's no oxygenation of the water to temporarily change it. It's a four-stage filter system. The first stage takes out the big stuff. The second stage creates the alkaline properties. The third stage creates the antioxidant properties. And all through the four stages, they're filtering more and more. The final stage 
is actually a filter used at NASA. It takes out the smallest microparticles you can think of and actually helps kill bacteria. It creates safe, healthy drinking water. It's the kind of water that nature intended us to have. The PCCS unit is the most cost-effective, convenient way for you to create alkaline antioxidant water in the marketplace. Like I mentioned a few seconds ago, you need to get one for yourself. Thanks for watching.